guys here is the first thing I got and I ordered these from Amazon these are phone cases and these are just the boxes here so I just want to display them out like that but we'll put that over there and it's just a fall color which is brown I thought it was going to be a little bit lighter because online when you're ordering things you know the color doesn't really show exact but I mean, this is okay. I like it though. I'll use it. <laughs> I can't complain, right? Because I just bought it. So this is my fall color, as well as this one. This is what they call, I think they call it yellow. Uh, I don't have my glasses on. Let me see. I think it's a yellow canary type color. Uh, let me see. Oh, let me see. Oh, that's the light brown. Okay. I don't know why they call that light brown. That's not light brown. That's more like medium, in my opinion. But this is the... Come on, focus. Canary yellow. So that's what that's called. This is canary yellow. I had to step out of the box a little bit for something like this. You guys, I've never had anything this wide you know this wild <laughs> bright color but hey as you get older you change right so and this one here this brown one came with these little stickers and i don't know if they thought this was going to a child or not but uh we won't be using that <laughs> no stickers for me then the next thing i got from amazon is this box here guys i finally Purchased me a a bar card. Yay! <laughs> Finally, I didn't get the most expensive one that I like, but I had to get something that I like that would work. And this is how it looks now. I'm hoping because I'm not that good at putting things together. This is just the instruction booklet. I just hope it's not difficult to put together. I'm going to try. If I can't do it, I might get Aaron to try to help me. Or better yet, Hubby, if he can see it good. But this is just the packaging. It's packaged very well, I must say. I guess, oh, okay, let's just have to put the screws in. So everything is pretty much, these are the different sections. I suppose. Let me go ahead and push this back so I can put them out here. And this is the color here. It's supposed to be gold. It's kind of like a shimmery type gold. Now on camera it probably looks brighter than it is. It's going to be exciting. I just hope it's not hard to put it together. And that's not my thing, putting things together, but we're going to See what we can do. I'm not gonna take it all out because there's so many different things. I guess these are the little um, I call these pipes. You know that you connect connect things together with. You know, like putting it in here. That's probably what these are. And then there's some more. Well, you know what? I might as well just take everything out. Well, maybe I shouldn't. I better wait because I don't want to confuse anything. And then up under here is all of your screws. Oh, brother. These black flatheads. Oh, boy. That's going to be something trying to put this together. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Wish me luck, you guys. And in this box here, I guess, is the rest of it. Also, ladies, I forgot to show you this when I was showing you my bar cart, but uh, I had ordered this really pretty lip gloss. It's a lip gloss that's supposed to be colorful, and this is so pretty. And this is the company that I got it from, uh, Dreamy, Dreamy M Beauty. It's a lip gloss, and it's the color has her signature on it. It's, uh, what is that? See if I can see it. Let 
Well, that's the color name. I don't know if I can't read it, you guys. But I wanted to try it and see if I like it. I love the packaging. This is a cute little bag that it comes in. Isn't it cute? It says thank you. I'm gonna keep this bag. It's worth keeping. Here's her information if you guys are interested in it. Here is the website where you can go and purchase your lip gloss. She also has other different makeup um, pieces as well. So you can go ahead and do that. And then she gives a thank you card, which is so nice. I love it. I'm gonna try this on for you guys. It's a very new type color. I thought it was going to have just a little bit more color to it, but she does have fuchsia color. She has some different colors, you know, just different variety, but I wanted to try this one. Now, when you, if you go on her website, she will show you, uh, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like on top of the skin, on the arm. So, you know, it helps you along the way, but I just got this one and I think it's cute. I mean, I have to get used to it a little bit and it smells good. The bottle here when i was putting it on when i smelled it i said mmm and it's very creamy <laughs> it smells good <laughs> don't laugh at me guys but that's how it looks you see mm -hmm. and then there's two straps on either side mm -hmm. and then you crisscross around okay. under the foot and up the side okay. around that up and then up the side okay. and then this piece goes around the middle just like this yeah. all right okay guys <laughs> i'm on my way home and also i stopped into tj maxx and ross because i was looking for this black purse nothing particular just a everyday type black purse that i can use nothing too fancy but i couldn't find I couldn't find the right one and definitely not the right prices. I tell you, those things are, oh gosh, wait a minute. I'm in traffic right now. I think I better get out of it. Let me get out of this traffic. Oh man, it's a lot of traffic and I was right in the, in the, mid of the, in the middle of the intersection. I couldn't even talk. But yeah, the prices at those stores are just, you know, because a lot of them sell like Steve, I think it's called Steve Madden or something like that. They sell those name brand purses, you know, just an everyday black purse is what I'm looking for. And I couldn't find it. So, oh, goodness gracious. And this hair that I got on this girlfriend, she's hot. <laughs> I mean, it looks nice, but it's a hot day. It's about 101, 102, 103 degrees, you know, where I'm at. And, um, mm. but I was so disappointed because I couldn't find the right purse. So, you know what that means? That means I'm going to have to get it from either Timu or TikTok. Now, I don't know if you guys shop there, you know, if you shop online from those two places. But I learned, and this is, I don't know how long this has been going on, but they don't, um, they don't deliver to P.O. boxes, you know, like for instance, um, the post office, they do not deliver there anymore. And I asked, I called one time, and I'm not sure which place it was, and they, was, they told me that because people were complaining that they weren't getting their packages. And I'm like, well, how many people was that? Because I get mine. Oh, my arm is tired. Oh, let me put it down, you guys. But anyway, so now you have to have another address. So I have to have it delivered to, you know, my home address, which I do not like. I don't like packages um, delivered to my home address. So I have no choice. If I'm going to order from them, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to have to do it. It is what it is, but oh well, you know, it's about 4.03 and it's time for me to get ready to start fixing dinner. Hubby said he's going to have two boiled pieces of chicken and some red beans that I had cooked for him. So that's going to be his dinner. And for me, oh, this hat. 
that um, for me is going to be my regular food that I always eat every day. And that's a nice big salad with some red beans. So you guys want to see what it looks like. I'll show you. It's nothing, nothing spectacular. But anywho, I'll show you what it is when we get ready to eat. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, Jazzy Greens, I got another <laughs> order from Timu. So this is another haul, part of the same haul. You know what I mean. But I want to share with you guys this beautiful uh, mug that I got. The pumpkin mug, and it is so pretty. You know, they are selling these like hot cakes on Timu. I mean, Walmart. I mean, different places. I love these mugs. They also have one in white, but I chose to get this one, the pumpkin colors. I, I like the color, but it's not so orange, it's more brown. So it's, it's pretty, pretty nice size. And um, yeah, I like that. Uh, I forgot how much this was. It wasn't much, especially at Timu. Then I wanted to always try one of these. I just hope this will fit my smartwatch. Oh, brother. It's supposed to. I think it has the pins on the side like this. I'm not so sure this is going to fit. If it doesn't fit, I'm going to try to apply it to my um, my Apple Watch. But isn't it pretty? It has a little um, charm, little things on the side here, and it's white. I just think it looks really pretty. Then, last but not least, I picked up these adorable little spoons. These are so cute. Now, I already have some spoons, you guys. But these are a little bit larger than the ones that I do have. The ones that you guys have seen are the little ones for, like, to stir up teas and things like that in small cups. But these are a little bit longer, and I think they're so cute comes in a pack of four as you can see so that's how it looks so that's what I picked up okay guys here is another order that I had done maybe a couple of weeks later this is a little this is supposed to be a thumb ring now when I measured my thumb <laughs> it felt like it was a size seven but when I put it on not this uh, thumb here on the other side it wouldn't fit so it's too small I am so disappointed but it's such a cute ring I can put it on my ring finger but I don't know if I'm going to keep it or return it and exchange it you know for a probably a size 8 but I'm so disappointed and I hate taking things back sending them back I just don't like to go through all that it's a hassle Okay, that was Timu. And then on Amazon, I ordered another phone case. Actually, this is for Christmas time or any time that I want. These are cute stickers, but I'm not into stickers. So <laughs> I'm going to leave those there. And I don't have any little ones that would want these stickers. So they're cute. But this is a, um, I was thinking of Christmas when I got this. And this is so pretty. On camera, it probably shows up brighter than it is, but in real life, it's a darker red, and it's so pretty. This is for my iPhone 15 Pro Max. Oh, it's so pretty. So I got that. Now, on Amazon. I shopped on Amazon as well. And I should have opened up these packages. Give me a moment so I can open them up. Okay, I also got Hubby a blue one. And this is just what he wanted. I love the velvety feeling inside. Um, yeah, he's getting the new iPhone 16, I think, Pro or Pro Max. Whatever that phone is that's new that is out. Well, he's getting that. And his case came with two of your screen protectors and I'm like I didn't get a screen protector that's not fair <laughs> I don't know if this will fit mine but I'm gonna try it if, if it fits I'm gonna you know let me use I'm gonna let me use it at least one of them then I got me another Christmas phone case for my phone I think this is cute it's clear and it's gonna look really really cute then I picked up a another girlfriend 
And if you're new here, I call my wigs girlfriends. I cannot stand the name wig. It just sounds yuck. But I love these little packages that they put these in. Let's see if I can take it out without putting the foam down again. How she looks nice and gold it's a short wig and it's supposed to be like a little bob and i hope it looks nice on me when i try it on you guys because if it doesn't it's going to go back to <laughs> but it's really pretty i love the highlights of the gold you know the blonde i wish it was more blonde you know at least around the back but that's okay so i will put this on one day and you guys will see it I got a coffee pot drawer to put all my K-Pod in. And I don't want to open it up just yet. You guys will have to stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a, um, a fall coffee bar station. So you guys will see this and hopefully it, you know, it's the right size and everything. So it's black, but unfortunately I did not want a black, but they did not have white. So I was thinking about spray painting the outside of it. I don't know because I'm not into too much black decor so but that's all I picked up from yeah Amazon and Timu okay here is Sam and Aaron putting my bar cart together and I think they're gonna be able to do it and it's gonna look real good so <laughs> it's cute to have your husband and your son you know doing teamwork like this because no I could not do it you know what I would say Yes, right. Baby. Does it go back to you, babe? Okay, here it is. They did a good job on this bar card, I must say. Now, I haven't decorated it yet, as you can see, but they did good. I can't wait. I'm going to be decorating this pretty soon. You guys will hopefully see it. But this is how it looks. It has three glass pieces. One here, one up there, and one on the bottom. Turned out really good and I'm so excited. And this little area here is a place where you can put uh, your glasses, you know, maybe a few glasses to hang on here. So I can't wait, I'm so excited. And a little handle, I didn't notice this. This is what that is. I guess it's a handle, I'm not sure handle here and I guess this will be a handle over there but anywho it's really cute and I can't wait to style it good afternoon Jazzy Greens today is October the 2nd and you know what that means it's breast cancer awareness month I'm so excited this is I don't like October but I do like uh, breast cancer awareness I stand for it because you guys know and if you don't know, I am a breast cancer awareness of several years. Hallelujah. I was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer stage one in 2009. So I'm not wearing pink all over the place. I just have my in-shape hat. I've got my cute little uh, pink glasses on. I'm wearing a black shirt. It's just black today. <laughs> and some black pants. Um kind of like exercise pans and also let me show you I've got my pink uh, fuchsia bracelet I've got my breast cancer awareness uh, ring with the ribbon and I'm using my pink pen for the moment and I've got my pink watch okay yes I'm ready and then I just have to add on a little lipstick this little lipstick thing that I have is, um, it's running out. <laughs> so I had to stick this, the top of this pin in there and do it like this. So I'm just adding a little lipstick on. I want to remind you if you are of age, please go get your tatas checked. That means go get your 
your mammogram, ladies, and make sure you do your self-breast exams, okay? I always like to remind everybody about that. Now, if you choose not to do it, then that's on you. But for me, I've got to do what i got to do. Now, one thing about my... Um, my mammogram, I do have it scheduled, but I'm a little disappointed because I had mine, well, I thought I had it in October last year. I thought I did, but I think they w were busy. You know, they couldn't schedule me for October, so they had to make it for November. Now, my insurance will only pay for it every 12 months, I guess, every calendar year. So every calendar year will be from November to November. I don't like that. I have always gotten my mammograms every October, so I'm very disappointed. I like to have it in the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I mean, man, it's just a bummer, and, and there's nothing I can do about it except pay for it, and I'm not going to do that because I think they said it's, I don't know if they said the mammogram is $250 or three or four hundred and fifty dollars no i'm not gonna do that so just forget about that you know so i will have to have it on the 5th of november i'm disappointed because usually they like to give us gifts for like a bag or something or a pen but you know what since I'm a breast cancer survivor, I might just go in there and just tell them, hey, look, my appointment is scheduled for, um, I think it's the 5th of November, but I usually come in in October. Whatever you have to give us, ladies, can I get mine now? <laughs> you know, Stu? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Can I get mine now? Because I don't want to be going in and on the 5th and then I can't get anything. Breast Cancer Awareness Month will be over. So I don't think that's fair. So I'm going to go get whatever treat they have for me now, meaning this month. But anyway, um, I don't always like to wear a whole lot of pink. From time to time, I might wear my, um, I have a breast cancer. It's pink and it has um, silver um, blingy diamonds all over it. And it says breast cancer survivor. So I might wear that. But I don't like to wear that too, too much. Because it is kind of blingy. But, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Either you wear it or you don't. I won't worry about it. But anyway, today me and hubby, um, I think we need to go to T-Mobile. Take care of some business there. And I think I have to pick up some medication. Actually, a nose spray. A nasal spray for me. Because I don't know if I shared this with you guys. Uh, for a long while, I've been dealing with allergies. Where I cough a lot. And also certain smells and fragrances. Not every fragrance, but it irritates the throat. It irritates somewhere in here. Like, for instance, if I go into Walmart or any type of store and, you know, you go into the aisle where the laundry soap is, oh, gosh, no, I can't. If I have to walk in that aisle, I have to cover up really, really well like this, hold my breath, and walk through as fast as I can. And then when I get out, get far away from the aisle and blow out. Because that stuff, oh, it gets all in here and it just bothers the crap out of me. And I may start coughing. So the doctor that I see who is an allergist, he does treat me. You know, he's treating me. And he, he has given me an inhaler that I take twice a, no, yeah, twice a day, I think. Yeah, morning and night. It's helping along with the um, the spray that he gave me. It's a nasal spray that goes in each nose, squirt, squirt. Uh, let me see, is that one at once a day? Yeah, once a day for the nasal spray, just twice in each nostril. So I do that in the morning, and it has helped. 
However, that has helped the cough. Not to say I never, ever, ever, ever cough. I cough sometimes. And usually when I do cough, I can tell there's some type of irritant that has gotten down in here. So he's trying to treat the, the cough first because that is the prime, the chief complaint. And it drives Aaron, my son, crazy. He can't stand it. So he, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to start coughing now. <laughs> so sorry if I'm shaking. I don't have my tripod, not tripod, but my, yeah, tripod hand thing. Um, so it's kind of hard to talk and not shake the, you know, the uh, camera. But anywho, yeah, I, um, I forgot my train of thought. What was I saying? Yeah, he's treating the cough, and the cough is better. There's sometimes when I don't cough at all. That's an improvement. Now, when he gets the cough under control really, really well, then he said he'll work on the other allergen part, you know, with the different uh, fragrances and sprays. Now, it's not every fragrance. It's not every aerosol spray or perfume it's not all of those. It's just some of them. And I never know until I feel the irritation. And you know, there is a cologne. It, I don't know if it's brand new, but it's for men. Now, if you know the name of this, then, you know, let me know in the comment section. But it is extremely, now read my lips, it's extremely strong for me. Now, it may not bother you or someone else, but me and hubby were in the mall um, sometime, some months back. Somebody had that fragrance and, oh, gosh. I had to literally get away. I had to go to another area, but I could not take it. That stuff is super, super strong, and it just bothered the crap out of me. I was like, I can't take it. I cannot be around this. This is too much. So we had to leave. Well, actually, hubby stayed. He stayed in the area because he wanted to look around. But I had to go far away from that smell. This is very, very strong. And it seems like those type of um, fumes and fragrances, it seems like they last so long. And I guess maybe because it's what I'm going through. But anyway, <laughs> enough rambling about that. Um, I had my coffee this morning and I had some yogurt for breakfast. I put a little bit of some oats in it and a little bit of my, like a handful of my walnuts. It was so good. Mm, mm, mm. You know, the so, so delicious yogurt that I showed you guys in my foodie grocery haul. Yeah, it's that. It is so good with the way I do it. Mm, mm, mm yummy to my tummy but anywho i'm gonna see you guys in a little bit because my arm is getting tired Ooh, holding this camera oh my gosh i need my i just decided to pick it up but anyway happy october i'll see you guys later okay guys it's the next day and i look different than i did the other day but anyway it's time for dinner so i'm gonna get me and sam's salads uh, ready. His is already ready. It's just pre pre-made by the store Walmart and Mine I have to get ready and put all the things in there So I'll show you that and I'll show you what his looks in in just a moment. So let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna show you all the things that I'm gonna be adding in mine. So let me get them out for you Okay, it's about What is it? almost five o'clock but it's getting a little dark so i want to turn on the kitchen light i got this bowl from walmart for i think it was eight dollars and it's smaller than the one i had that i have i have another one that's bigger so we're going to use this one today and i've got my kale lettuce and let me show you purple red cabbage i just kind of chopped them up a little bit because i'm going to slice them slice it and put it in the salad and of course my broccoli cucumbers and red bell pepper and I'm not sure if I'm going to use the white onion or the red onion 
and then put a few baby carrots in there. So let's get started. funny because I sure do. <laughs> Okay guys, you've seen my salads before. This is mine and it looks like a lot. I mean, good gosh, I try to put a little bit of lettuce in there, but it seems like it turns out to be so much. <laughs> but I'm not eating anything else with it, so hopefully I can eat it all. But this stuff that you see on top, this brownish, this is the different spices and herbs that I use. Like um, this is Dash. Um, the different kinds of Mrs. Dash, black pepper, um, things like that. I can't think of all of it. And I'm gonna top it off with some Italian dressing. And then here's Hubby's. Now his is the right size, okay? Shoot, kinda wish I had this one. But I just added a couple of things on his, some onions and some, uh, what do you call it? Um, 
that um, Parmesan cheese on top of it. And he's using ranch dressing for his. So we're gonna sit down and enjoy and I'll see you whenever I see you. Good morning, Jazzy Greens. We are coming downstairs because I'm gonna show you a nice chocolate cake that Aaron made. If you don't know who Aaron is, he's my son. But let me show you what his cake looks like. It looks so good. He did so well. Hold on. Ooh, boy, doesn't that look good? I don't want to mess it up. I better be careful. Wow, a chocolate cake. And he added some coffee, a cup of coffee in here. Folgers coffee. He followed this recipe from someone, I'm not sure who it was. It's a chef that he follows on YouTube. And you know, he's trying to learn how to cook and bake certain things. And I think he did a fantastic job. Now I have not had any cake. I don't eat cake anymore, but I told my husband, if he has a slice, then I will take one little tiny fork full so I can just sample it because I can't afford to be you know, eating this kind of stuff anymore. No, 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 no. But look at that slice. And that's the type of slice that I would have eaten back in the day. <laughs> but now, no more cake. Wow. That looks so good. I'm so proud of him. I mean, he's doing a really, really good job with this baking and cooking. Oh, man. But anywho, I'm going to close out today's video as I look outside. It's nice and hot today. It's about 100 and something degrees here. Oh, boy. Oh, because, you know, I'm in California. We, it's like we always hot. We stay hot. Oh, boy. But if this is your first time watching, I would invite you to please subscribe to the channel. Click the lock the thumbs up button which is the like button give this video a big thumbs up that's what i'm trying to say and set your bell to all so that you will be notified of all my videos and you won't miss any of them when i post and thank you to all my faithful jazzy green families i love you guys you guys are the best you're so sweet in the comment section and I just really love and appreciate all of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a blessed, continued blessed weekend. And I'll see you next time. Bye.